You ready? You ready right now? Yeah. I'm, I'm rolling, ready. are you? Yo, are you rolling? Yeah. That's cool. I think I am. I cook well. I don't do green eggs and ham. I'm real. They fake. They're bad spam. I got that good food you eat and you say hot damn. You know who I am? Chef T. Randall. Hot food, make them melt slow like a candle. I'm the best thing, grip them like wrestling. Don't worry, they're old news. Me, I'm the next thing. Boom, it's your boy Chef T. Randall. What's happening? What we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you a little demonstration. We're gonna teach you guys how to just, I know everybody could cook, but we're gonna teach you how to make it a little bit better, a little bit precise, make it sexy, make it pretty, all right? First thing we're gonna start with is the most important tool in the kitchen. You know, you usually have your whisk, you got your spoon, you got your, um, some people have your favorite, any random tool in the kitchen. I know we all cooks and everybody know they could cook, but if you understand that, you do understand this, that this right here is the tool in the kitchen, the knife. All right, so right now you have an eight inch chef knife, 10 inch chef knife, your serrated knife, you have your steel, and you have your pear knife. All these have a purpose. Me, I prefer the 10 inch knife, so when you're cutting your vegetables and you're cutting your herbs, sometimes you have a problem when you're chopping and you just keep banging it out. See what I'm saying? And then your vegetables and stuff pop up on the knife, it's kind of uncomfortable. So, you know, that's one reason why I really prefer this knife right here. All right, so what we're gonna start right now is fresh basil. Always use fresh herbs. Always use fresh herbs. Use your sea salt, use olive oils. Anything that you can use to make, make your food taste cleaner. I'm gonna show you how to properly get you a nice chiffonade cut. Chiffonade is, is like these thin ribbons. Nice, it's a nice garnish. It's uh, and sauces and, man, salads and spreads. Anything you have, you want a nice pretty cut, here you go. This is gonna be a chiffonade cut. All right, so you take it, you have, you have your whole basil leaf. First, your basil is going to be on the stem. You break the leaf off like that, right? See it? Beautiful, sexy-ass basil leaf. I wish you could smell this. All right, so you take you set it down flat. You stack all big leaf, small leaf, small leaf. You take it and you roll it up real tight, just like this. Boom. All right, you got a tight knife. Remember, real sharp knife. Real sharp. You see the edge on that? That's what you want to see when you're ready to cut your stuff. All right, so right now I'm gonna show you a chiffonade cut. Chiffonade cut, thin ribbons, real smooth, real sexy, all right? In the kitchen, you're taught to have a rhythm. The rhythm is what makes you keep up with your cuts when you're doing something which is considered a kind of difficult cut to get precise. So here we go, this is chiffonade. Every time you cut it, you wanna hear a rhythm. If you're going slow, you wanna hear. If you wanna go fast, you still. Bang, bang, all right? So we're gonna start off slow. So if you don't know how to cut, like make an L with your hand and grip around the blade of the knife. Boom, boom, you feel it. You feel that cold steel, baby. And you just go to it, start off slow. Cut your stems. You see that, you see those ribbons? Then after that, you get your rhythm and you just bang it out. You bang it out, boom. You hear that rhythm, boom. It's like you're dancing with it. Don't press the knife, let your knife work for you. You see, I'm not pressing down, I'm sliding. See, I'm not even using no effort. You don't see no veins popping up in my hand on that. I'm not using no effort. Look at that. Beautiful. You see what I'm saying? You get it like that, then you just bang it out. Bang! She likes that. Look at that. Boom. You hear that? Same rhythm. Makes your cut better. Makes it sexy. There you go again. You got your ribbons. Look at that. Sexy. Bang! There you go. That's how you shift out your basil. So what you want to do is let's take these leaves, peel your leaves off. See, this is the secret. This is something I, I didn't even know. I just learned this probably about two or three weeks ago. This is the wonderful thing right here. Take the leaves off. Take this part, set it to the side. All right? Maybe uh, 
take this, cut it in half, just like that, cut it in half, now you can lay it flat. See that? Same thing. Lay it out, start off slow. Figure out what rhythm you want to get. Start off slow. And after that, just bang it out. Bang, bang, bang. All right, hit that, take the other half. Take these other ones, you can set them right there inside the other half. Start off slow. Get these cuts, make sure they can see how precise those are. Boom. So you use your hands as a guide. Boom, get that. Boom. See that? Oh, see how that just fell like that? It's like she just took it. Oh man, I can't say that. I'm gonna take the straws, lay them down flat like that. Let's cut them into little cubes. We're gonna use this as, oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice little garnish. It's gonna make it look real good. Same thing, start off slow, get your rhythm. Then you just go, bang, 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 bang. All right, so then, right here you have you some nice little small dices. Well, that'd be more of a fine dice. So, now we have our curly. This is a, is a curly leaf parsley. Like I said, I really prefer a flat Italian leaf parsley because it's easier. It has long leaves, flat leaves, and it's easy to lay down and kind of roll up like how you do the basil, and you can get a smoother cut. But we'll see what we can do with this right here because this is all we can find at the moment, and sometimes you gotta work with what you got. You feel me? You just do the same thing. Start off slow till you get your rhythm. All right, now you see what you're cutting. You see it. Rhythm and you just bring it out. That's what you got. This cut off still got some nice little mini ribbons. We call those the mini me's. <laughs> All right, that's what we got. So you have your fine diced carrot. You have your ribbon curly leaf parsley. You have your nice beautiful ribbon iceberg lettuce. We have our ribbon basil. It's called a chiffonade. And that's what it is. So this is gonna be our garnishes for our sandwich we're about to work on. I'm gonna fire this oven up. And uh, after we fire this oven up, we're going to build these sandwiches and we're going to heat this soup up and we're going to eat good.